Hello, Christine Halsey here. We're looking at our breadboard part of using a BJT as an amplifier. And you can see here, I'm trying to get a good close up so you can see how I've configured my leads. The emitter is the leg on the left if you're looking at the flat side. So this is my emitter coming to ground with a 470 ohm resistor. I've got my base in the middle and my collector comes back out to the furthest point. So I didn't have a 2K, so I have two 1Ks in series going to power off the collector. And the base that's in the middle, here's the 10K coming to ground and 4.7 or 47K going to power. I've gone through and set my power supply to 9 volts and I went through and made my current and voltage measurements here and we'll look at that in just a second. Okay, so first I set up and measure my supply voltage and make sure it's as close to 9 volts as I can get. Measuring the voltage from the collector to ground. Measuring from the base to ground. Again, just knowing the position of my legs helps. I'm here in this middle hole. I have my collector one hole beside that. And my emitter is one hole beside that. From the collector to the emitter Some days my meter likes to mess with me. So there's my collector to emitter. I think it's coming in a little below what it was, but all around my circuit numbers or voltages are coming up to approximately what they should be. All right, let's turn the power off and set up for measuring current. So for the meter, I'm going to go ahead and pull my lead out so I don't forget to move it over to milliamp and for right now I'm going to turn it off I'm going to make a break let's do the emitter first so I'll pull up the emitter resistor and I'm going to plug my red wire in to where I pulled the emitter resistor from and then I'll place my black lead on the end of the resistor that I pulled out. So I'm completing the path for current. Now I can turn my power back on and turn my lead or my meter on to milliamps. And then I'm reading 1.7 milliamps there. Okay, I'm going to fill that break back in and create a break at the collector. Okay, so now I've created a break here over at my collector. I put the red lead more towards power and I've used my black wire to connect there at the collector. And I'm right at 1.7 milliamps. Can I measure my base currents a little bit trickier because there's two sets of resistors coming in there? So I pulled out the base leg here. You can see it's connected to the black lead. And then I've put my red lead in where that leg came out of, which is where those two sets of resistors come in. And then I turn the power back on. And for this one, I had to go down to microamps, and I'm reading 9.8 microamps. Okay, next step is to set up my AC signal. So I'm set at 1 kilohertz sine wave and I'm using the amplitude and fine frequency to adjust the generator output. And I've set up my oscilloscope to measure the frequency and the voltage peak to peak and 
then you use those knobs to adjust and, and get as close as you can to 500 millivolts peak to peak and 1 kilohertz. You can see how they fluctuate here. Uh, so you're doing the best you can. Now this is kind of sloppy, but now I'm running that ground to my common ground and the generator to the input of my base. Now I've hooked up channel 1 into that same group with the baseline. It's all there. That whole column's full now with things going to the base. And I'm viewing my signal on channel 1. And it is still coming in at 500 millivolts peak to peak, 1 kilohertz. Okay, so let's look here. This capacitor is a 10 microfarad. I didn't have any non-electrolytics, so I had to use it. Negative side's going into the base, and I've applied my signal. This blue is my input signal. Then coming off the collector, this is a 1 microfarad. Coming off my collector and back here to my green wire, or, sorry, orange wire which is on the negative side of my capacitor there. Alright, so channel 1 is set up to measure my input. Channel 2 is set up to measure my output. And over here we can see I have 560 millivolts going in at 1 kilohertz and coming out as almost 2 volts peak to peak at 1 kilohertz.